Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal. That mag just dropped. And today is a special treat. My buddy Randall, not you Randall, the other Randall. I know two Randalls. My buddy Randall, uh, this is his, and he said, man, this thing is awesome. Give it a whirl if you want to. So that's what we're doing today. We are giving it a whirl. You know, I don't know a ton about this to tell you the truth. I'm going to read it right off of it. This says uh, F-PB-BM-59. So I take it that this is a BM-59 and it shoots the 762 by 51 which is not the same as a 308 but a lot of 308s will shoot the 762 by 51. This one, we're only going to be shooting 762 by 51 out of it. And it should be a whole lot of fun. But like I said, I'm no uh, huge expert on this when it was used or what it was made for. But it's a semi auto in 762 by 51 called a BM59. And it's a whole lot of awesome. Uh, taking this right out of the case, um, I'll make sure not. I uh, take real super good care of this too. Taking this right out of the case, or if I just flash this up on the screen, you would say, oh, that's an M1 Grand. But this is not an M1 Grand. It does not shoot 30 out 6. It shoots, like I said, 7.62 by 51, which is super close to the same thing as a 308. That's enough yapping. Uh, I'm going to load this up. He's got two metal mags with it. That I don't know how many of these hold, probably. 1015. It's got the model stamped on the bottom too. PB BM50. But let's load these up and just see if we can hit some steel out here. Maybe some from the bipod. Um, some a little bit further. I'm, to tell you the truth, quite honestly, not an expert when it comes to shooting these style sights. The little ghost in the back and the little scout style iron sight on the front. But I think maybe if we shoot it enough, we could probably hit something. Let's load up these mags and have a little fun with it see what happens. Appreciate Randall, like I said, letting us take this thing for a spin. Pretty cool flash hider on the end. Let me put that close to the camera if you didn't see that already. Pretty cool stuff. But, like I said, this is just going to be a fun video. Giving this thing a whirl. Now, there's always that one guy. Let me show you the, the ammo there. He, uh sent over here for us there's always that one guy that says i wanted to see you load the mag so if that's you i'm going to load at least a little bit of this mag up and show you uh, pretty cool pretty cool now seems like you load it just like a, a ar mag you know one on top of the other as opposed to loading it like a pistol uh there's four in there I don't want to shoot up a ton of this ammo, but we'll put enough in here and see what we think about it. Tell you the truth, when I opened up this box, I thought it was going to be steel case, but it's not. All right. There's a few loaded up in there. Check that out. And I'm being super careful about this. That's cool. Look at that bipod. It swivels like that. I did not even realize that. Man, I need some bipods like that. Put that mag up in there. And that was a, that's solid. There's like zero wiggle on that mag. That's pretty awesome. I might need to get one of these. Pretty sweet. But let's uh, aim her at some steel up on the range, see if we can hit something. All right, now. Up here on the range, there's a piece of steel with an X on it. That's what I'm going to try to hit first. I'm going to try to shoot it from the bipod. And I'm going to do that and shoot that target because that's like the biggest target out here. And hopefully, I can hit it. And then we'll uh, see if I can hit with those sights. I'm trying to bend the camera down where you guys can see me the gun a little more. There we go. All right. See if I can hit that big X up there. I guess I should uh, load one, huh? Is there a safety, or am I just a little bit weak? Hmm. What am I doing here? I should have read the manual. 
drop this mag out. So with no mag, it's going free. And then let's seat it in there. There it went. I don't know what I was doing the first time. Let's see if I can hit that X up there. Ooh, I like this. Oh yeah. We hit it real good. Now, uh, there's a piece of Primo target steel uh, right up here. Come on, man. Paul's up here and I'm, we're taking the break so he can put his ears on. There's a piece of uh, Primo target steel up here. I'm going to shoot it once and then I'm going to zoom in. Got it? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Let me zoom in on that steel so you guys can see it. I wanted to get you a quick clip of the gun actually going off first. Alright, so that one swinging is the one I just shot. Where is my finger? Way up there. That's at 55 yards. Let me hit that again. Oh yeah. Now I'm going to try to hit the smaller gong to the right of it. And I missed. Oh, I hit it that time. Alright, now at 40 yards are those smaller green ones to the right. Missed it. Missed it again. Man, I'm going to go back to the bigger ones and further away. What am I doing here? Well, I was having too much fun and shooting fast. And I missed like my last five shots, but let's load up a couple more. We'll load up five more. And see if we can hit anything more with it. But this thing, I'm telling you, it shoots really good. I don't even know how to describe it. It's it's magically smooth. You can tell that I shoot a whole lot of cheap guns because I'm cheap and I'm broke. You can tell when you're shooting this thing that this is this is not a cheap thrown together piece of garbage this is a very nice firearm so let me load up this mag how many did I put in there I think I said I just loaded five but we're about to find out let me uh I really like that bipod there too that's awesome I need like 20 bi 20 bipods and put that on every single rifle I own but let me uh let me try to shoulder this thing and see if I can hit anything with it bipod legs up and that bipod is like contoured to come in and rest up on the stock there see if I can hit anything with its shoulders what am I doing wrong here now first time I didn't get it to load right put it that down on the bipod Something about loading it that I didn't do right the first time, and I'm not doing right this time either. Let me load it with the bolt closed. It's in there solid now. Yeah, loaded that time. I don't know what I was doing wrong with it. Let's see if I can hit anything like this. I'm going to shoot those same targets up there. Got them. Got them again. I miss it from the bipod, but I hit it from the shoulder. That makes no sense. Shoot that big yellow one over here real fast. Oh, yeah. 
and we're empty but like i said a big big thanks to randall for letting me take this for a spin pb bm 59 in 762 by 51. we're able to stretch out there a little bit and ring some steel but this thing is one of the finest rifles that has been on the range in quite some time probably and i really appreciate him letting us take it for a spin but like i said i'm no genius or expert on this at all by any means i'm just the goofy guy out here slinging the bullets so comment down below if you got more information or you know a whole lot more about these i would definitely read all that but big thanks to heavy metal y'all go click the link down below and subscribe to their channel and again a big thanks to Randall. We'll see y'all in the next one. Hoo-dee-hoo!